Scammers and fraudsters may not be the most noble individuals, but they are always looking for new ways to scam you and I out of some money. And as we all know, AI is making it easier and more difficult for them to not only steal your money, but also your personal information. So in this video, I want to discuss five of the biggest ways that scammers are using AI to steal your money so that you can stay protected and you can protect your loved ones around you. Scam number one, scammers are using AI powered tools to write much more convincing phishing emails, text messages and leave much more convincing sounding voicemails on your phone. Now the increased ability of technology is allowing these scammers and fraudsters to sound more realistic, to write more realistic and natural sounding things so that it's much more convincing for you and I to actually go along with it. Now I've had three of these happen to me just in the past couple of months and I wanna go ahead and share those with you so that way if something similar happens to you, you know what to look out for. The first one is through text message in which a scammer or fraudster is sending me a text telling me that it's from the US USPS. It's the United States Postal Service, which is very well known. They send it from USPS stating that one of my packages or mail has gotten lost and I need to send updated information in order for that package or mail to get properly delivered. Now, these text messages will typically come from like an 800-877 number. So you really don't know, okay, is that the United States Postal Service? And at first glance, it can be very natural sounding and very professional sounding due to the advanced AI. And this is something to strongly look out for because for me, a couple of times I'm like, is this real? You know, did one of my packages get lost? So this is definitely something that is starting to uptick. I even spoke to my mailman. He was like, yes, that's definitely a scam. We've been alerted of this. Please totally ignore that. You know, all that good stuff. The second way that they've gotten me or they've tried to get me in the past couple of months is through email. PayPal, apparently PayPal, it looked just like a PayPal email, sent me an email email stating that somebody tried to make a purchase for a gun in another state and that I needed to verify this purchase so that it could go through. Well, for me, initially I was like, hold on, somebody's trying to use my PayPal account. But after I did further digging, I realized even though this looks just like a PayPal email, it sounds just like a PayPal email, this is not somebody trying to use my PayPal account. This is a scammer email. It looked totally exactly like a PayPal would. It was asking me to open up a document and sign a document like you would need to if you were, had purchased a gun. So it looked really realistic. And if you get something like this, definitely dig deeper because this one was not real. The third way they tried to get me was through Etsy. In my Etsy shop, they sent me a direct message stating it was from Etsy and that all of my future sales were going to be held if I didn't go ahead and update information in their system. They were going to hold all future orders. And of course, for an Etsy shop, that will alert you. And it did alert me. I was like, hang on, let me send them my correct information. And then I did a little digging. Thank goodness. I didn't immediately go for it. I did a little digging. And as I saw, this is also a well-known scam. So these scammers are trying to get you any way they can. Okay, scam number two is them using AI for voiceovers or realistic photos of individuals talking and releasing information to the public. So this is even seen of people paying for ads of like the president talking or a celebrity talking and it looks just like them. It sounds just like their voice stating, you've missed a $4,000 stimulus check. All you have to do is fill out this information and if you fill out this form and send it to us, we're gonna let you know if you're approved for this additional stimulus check. And it's president Biden and it looks just like him and sounds just like him. One of the most frequently asked questions we get at Verify is whether we'll get a fourth check. So far, Congress hasn't approved one. But this video on Facebook with more than 45,000 views claims President Joe Biden signed an executive order to distribute more stimulus money. This is for in the United States, but I'm sure that they're using this elsewhere. And this is something that is actually upticking as AI starts to uptick more and starts to advance more. They're really starting to use some of this highly advanced technology to look and sound just like other individuals telling you, you, hey, you have free money, fill out this form and you're gonna get some free money. Definitely look out for that one. This is one that I have seen all over my account. I've clicked on it to look into it and I'm like, hold on. 
Something's not right about this. Scam number three is something that's really relevant this time of year up until the first half of the year, and that is tax season scams. Fraudulent tax return reports and both IRS and tax professionals also getting scammed from people allegedly looking for a new tax representative, filling out a form trying to get information from the tax representative. So this is for both taxpayers and people trying to get a tax return, and this is also for tax professionals. So this report stated that the IRS flagged just this year so far, and it's only March, 1.1 million possibly fraudulent tax returns already. Now, if you're somebody who got your tax return flagged and you didn't have anything fraudulent, I am so sorry to hear about that. I know that that's frustrating. However, better safe than sorry. Now with this one, have you ever done a Google search on yourself or your name to see exactly what it pulls up? If you do this, you're gonna be able to see exactly what information other people in the public can just Google and the information that it actually pulls up about you. Now as bad as this sounds, there are literally companies called data brokers who collect and sell your personal information to spammers, scammers, hackers, and anybody else who may wanna target you and I. Your name, your home address, your health records, what you buy, your relatives, now, all of this information floating around on the web can really put you at risk. It's really dangerous, especially during this time of year, during tax season. In 2023, the IRS flagged 2.4 million tax returns with refunds totaling roughly $13.8 billion for possible identity theft. This is one of the many reasons that I'm a longtime user of Aura, which is the sponsor of today's video. Aura monitors the web 24 seven to see which data brokers are selling my personal information and your personal information, and then automatically submitting requests on our behalf to remove us from these lists. Cleaning up my personal information has not only reduced the amount of spam calls and emails that I've been getting, but it's additionally protecting me from hackers who may wanna hack into my social media accounts, my email accounts, my PayPal or Venmo or Zelle accounts. Now with Aura, you're gonna get credit monitoring, antivirus, VPN, password management, parental controls, identity theft monitoring, insurance, and more. That all comes in one singular app at one affordable price. Now you may already have one of these tools like a VPN or a few of these tools like VPN and antivirus, but not having all of these tools is like having the front door locked but leaving the back door wide open. I really encourage you to protect yourself and not get scammed this tax season or all year long. You can go to Aura.com slash Kimberly Mitchell and start your two-week free trial and I'm also going to have that linked in the description box down below. Okay scam number four and this is a really good one romance scams. While romance scams are nothing new their popularity is on the rise because according to the FTC people lost one $1.3 billion to romance scams in 2022 alone. And that is averaging $4,400 per person who gets involved in one of these types of scams. Scammers in this situation are typically using somebody's false identity to create fake profiles on dating sites, social sites, all of that type of thing. However, with AI and the advancement of AI, people can literally make a complete profile, complete profile pictures, use voice to sound just like somebody else and really make this specific type of scam completely convincing. What's happening with this is that after the scammer or fraudster gets your attention and actually starts to talking to you, what they'll typically do is start to ask you for money, ask you to send them something to help them, you know, buy a phone or something to that nature. They're also seeing that the person may mistakenly send you money via PayPal or something like that and then ask you to send it back. What happens is that if your bank detects that this payment was fraudulent, it's gonna subtract it from your account at the end of this transaction. Now, the way that these romance scams typically begin is by starting conversations on dating apps, social media, and even email, and they really can target anyone. So definitely be on the lookout from anybody out here who has a completely convincing profile who may even look really good, but may be targeting you out of some money. Okay, the last AI scam is employment scams. Now, this one I felt was really relevant to my channel 
because these employment scams are typically looking for individuals who have been out of work, who are looking for side hustles. We already have seen that on my channel with YouTubers using this specific type of scam. But anyway, looking for people who are in need of money and what they do is they actually take a slower approach than other scammers where they want the process to look legitimate, right? They want you to actually apply for jobs. They actually want you to think this is a legitimate operation. And what they'll do is actually collect personal information from you via your employment forms or your application, all of that. And then they'll typically start telling you that you need to purchase equipment for the job. You may need to purchase a laptop for the job or headphones for the job, different things for the job. This will always be a red flag. Other scammers like we've seen on YouTube will get right to the point and they'll tell you, if you buy my course, you are gonna make easy money. Just pay me a thousand dollars so that I can give you two forms that AI wrote and it's gonna tell you how to make a million dollars a day. You guys, no, do not buy courses, do not buy these little silly things that people are promising you are gonna make you $500 a day. Don't do it. Always make sure that you're doing your research on these companies, especially if it's employment, do your research, look into the company, look into these people that are making these big promises. They're typically always fraudulent. Look into it, definitely use your skepticism with this, especially with AI advancing, definitely use your brain and think, hmm, does this sound real? Is this too good to be true? Look into it before you ever start sending out personal information and especially before you start sending out money or buying things. If you find you have any questions after watching this video, please drop a comment down below. As always, thank you all so much for your support. I hope you all stay safe out there and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.